Major League Baseball and Rawlings announced the finalists for the 2018 American League and National League Gold Glove Awards on Thursday afternoon. Here are this year's nominees, with reaction at each position, pitcher, NL, Zach Granke, Diamondbacks, Clayton Richard, Padres, Julio Tehran, Braves, never say the gold glove voters don't respect the metrics, Granke and Tehran were tied for the lead in defensive runs saved among big league pitchers this season with seven each. Richard had five while throwing 17 innings fewer than Tehran and 49 fewer than Granke. Without ever having actually paid close attention to his defense, Richard for some reason just looks like a pitcher who would win a gold glove. Granke won the award for four straight years from 2014 to 17 and seems likely to win it again this year. Pitcher, Al, Dallas Keuchel, Astros, Corey Kluber, Indians, Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees, despite pitching only 156 innings, Tanaka tied with Granke and Tateron for the lead in pitcher defensive runs saved with seven. Keuchel and Kluber, meanwhile, had three each. Keuchel is a three-time Gold Glove winner and figures to have a solid shot at repeating this year. Catcher, NL, Jadier Molina, Cardinals, Manny Pena, Brewers, Buster Posey, Giants, while Molina and Posey have historically been great defenders and continue to be very reliable behind the dish, this list is somewhat of a testament to how bad catcher defense was in the NL this year. Molina did a great job of working with a young pitching staff and started 120 games despite spending a month on the DL following a gruesome shot to the groin, though he had minus one defensive run save which, to be fair, is a metric that isn't exceptionally reliable for catchers this year. Posey was fantastic behind the plate and had 10 defensive runs saved and guided a pitching staff of has-beens and unheralded rookies to success, but he started just 85 games at catcher and missed the last five weeks of the season. Pena had two DL stints and was part of a platoon, first with Jet Bandy, then with Eric Kratz, all year, so it was a bit surprising to see him as a nominee. The fact that he threw out 41% of base stealers may help him out, though. While he was limited by injuries this year and spent more than a month on the DL, it's somewhat surprising that Padres catcher Austin Hedges didn't make this list, as he had 12 defensive runs saved and has developed into one of the best defensive backstops in the majors. Catcher, Al, Yan Gomes, Indians, Martin Maldonado, Angels, Astros, Salvador Perez, Royals, Maldonado probably has the edge here as the reigning gold glover, as he threw out a major's best 49% of base stealers this year. Gomes is probably the second best defensive catcher on his own team behind Roberto Perez, and other than the fact that he played 948.2 innings and worked well with a great pitching staff, there's not really a particular metric that backs up his candidacy. Salvador Perez is a four-time Gold Glove winner, played 831 innings after missing the first month of the season, and threw out 48% of base stealers this year, so he also has a solid shot of adding to his trophy case. First base, NL, Freddie Freeman, Braves, Anthony Rizzo, Cubs, Joey Votto, Reds, Rizzo and Votto each have a gold glove already, while Freeman hasn't yet won one. Among the three, Freeman ranked best in terms of the metrics, finishing with 12 defensive runs saved. This announcement means that the Giants' Brandon Belt, who finished with a league-best 13 DRS, will go another year without winning a gold glove, while the Padres' Eric Cosmer, who won four gold gloves in Kansas City, won't win one in his first year with the Padres. First base, Al, Mitch Moreland, Red Sox, Matt Olson, Athletics, Justin Smoke, Blue Jays, Moreland, who won one in 2016, is the only member of this trio with a previous gold glove. As mentioned earlier, Hosmer has largely been holding down this award in recent years. Olson led the majors with 14 defensive runs saved, and neither Moreland or Olson was even close to matching him in that category. Second base, NL, Javier Baez, Cubs, DJ Lemayu, Rockies, Colton Wong, Cardinals, this one will perhaps be the most interesting gold glove battle this year. Though Baez has developed a reputation as baseball's most exciting defensive infielder, he was more of a utility player than second baseman this year, starting 75 games, including just 4 in September, at second, 52 at short, and 18 at third this year. 
the metrics don't indicate that he was particularly good at any of those positions either. The most defensive runs saved he collected at any one position was five at second base, and he was mediocre in terms of range at all three spots. The rules state that a multi-position player like Baez is to be nominated at the position where he played the most, which is second, but even if he had been outstanding defensively this year, it'd feel odd giving him the award at a position where he only started 75 games. Meanwhile, may have been the best fielder in baseball in 2018, collecting 19 defensive runs saved sixth among all major leaguers, with a UZR, 150 of 17.6, fourth in MLB. But a pair of injuries limited him to just 896.2 innings, and perhaps that won't be enough. Lemayu was also extremely good, collecting 18 defensive runs saved with a UZR, 150 of 12.5 while playing 218 innings more than Wong and 415 more than Baez at second, so he might end up being the guy who ultimately comes away with the award. Second base, Al, Ian Kinsler, Angels, Red Sox, Jed Lowry, Athletics, Ruined Oder, Rangers, Oder, who was once considered to be a poor defender, has now grown his game to the point where he led the all with 11 defensive runs saved this year and may be the favorite for this award. Kinsler, who had 10 DRS while displaying superior range, should also be a strong candidate. Third base, NL, Nolan Arenado, Rockies, Anthony Rendon, Nationals, Travis Shaw, Brewers, I could get into deep detail about all these candidates, but what did really matter when Arenado has won five straight gold gloves and is widely considered to be one of the five to ten best defenders ever to play the position? Though he did collect nine defensive runs saved at third, it is somewhat curious to see Shaw among the finalists when he spent most of the last two months of the season playing second base. Third base, Al, Alex Bregman, Astros, Matt Chapman, Astros, Jose Ramirez, Indians, this contest likely won't be close either, as Chapman will likely be the Platinum Glove winner after collecting a Majors Best 29 defensive runs saved. Considering his outstanding legacy, it's somewhat surprising that five-time Gold Glover Adrian Belter isn't a finalist in perhaps his final season after posting 10 defensive runs saved over 587 innings at third. Shortstop, NL, Nick Ahmed, Diamondbacks, Brandon Crawford, Giants, Freddie Galvis, Padres, Crawford, the three-time Gold Glover, seemed like the favorite for this award at the All-Star break, but a horrid second half both at the plate and in the field may open the door for a very deserving Ahmed to win his first Gold Glove. Though Ahmed's range isn't quite as good as it once was after hip surgery two years ago, he collected 21 defensive runs saved which tied with Andrelton Simmons for best among MLB shortstops and second among all major leaguers. Galvis was extremely solid and durable, starting all 162 games, 157 at short and another 5 at second. Shortstop, Al, Francisco Lindor, Indians, Marcus Semin, Athletics, Andrelton Simmons, Angels, Simmons is the runaway favorite for this award which would be his fourth gold glove, having collected 21 defensive runs saved with a ridiculous 19.5 UZR, 150. Lindor was also very good, posting 14 DRS with a 13.4 UZR, 150. It's impressive to see Semin, who played primarily at third base before being traded to Oakland and made 35 errors in his first year with the A's, work his way into being a Gold Glove finalist. With that said, he still made 20 errors this year, so perhaps we're just taking that stat less seriously than we ever have before. Left field, NL, Corey Dickerson, Pirates, Adam Duvall, Reds, Braves, Christian Yelich, Brewers, Dickerson, who was considered by many to be a defensive liability who was limited to DH when the Rays designated him for assignment in February, made an impressive statement defensively in his first season as a National League player since 2015. Over 1,057.1 innings, he had 16 defensive runs saved while posting an exceptional 11.9 UZR, 150. Duvall, who started only 77 games in the outfield this year and just 9 after being traded to Atlanta on July 30th, is a curious choice here. He was efficient in limited innings, though, collecting 17 DRS in 766.1 innings. 
Yelich saw action at all three outfield positions this year, starting 63 in left, 68 in right, and 12 in center. He wasn't particularly excellent at any position, but as a former Gold Glover and the likely NL MVP, it's not surprising to see him nominated. Left field, Al, Andrew Benintendi, Red Sox, Brett Gardner, Yankees, Alex Gordon, Royals, Center field, NL, Lorenzo Cain, Brewers, Billy Hamilton, Reds, Ender Inciarte, Braves, Center field, Al, Jackie Bradley Jr. Red Sox, Adam Engel, White Sox, Mike Trout, Angels, Right Field, NL, Jason Hayward, Cubs, John J. Diamondbacks, Nick Marcakis, Braves, Right Field, Al, Mookie Betts, Red Sox, Cole Calhoun, Angels, Aaron Judge, Yankees, more reaction to come.